The next method we'll take a look at is the length method. And all this simply does is just returns the length of the string. And if you remember what we said earlier, the length is just the number of characters. So if we use our example tsm.length, this is going to return 11 because there are 11 characters in the string. The next method we'll look at is called the replace method. So the idea with this one is that we're going to return a string where each occurrence of our old character is replaced with a new character. So we're going to pass two characters that we're going to look for every instance of the old character and replace it with our new character. So let's take a look at this example. So let's say I have TSM dot replace and then O is my first character and U is my second character. This is going to return the string team Sulumin because we replaced every occurrence of an O with a U. The next method we'll take a look at is the substring method. And this is a pretty simple, straightforward method. What we do is we pass some integer, which is going to be our index. And we just simply get the string that starts at that index position. And we go all the way to the end of the string and just return that string itself. So for example, if I put in tsm.substring and then I pass the number eight, then that's just going to return mid because remember we had team solo mid. So we're going to go all the way up to position eight, which is capital M. And then we just get the remainder of the string all the way to the end. And then we just return that portion of our string. There is a second version of the substring method where we pass two parameters instead of one. It works very similar to our first substring method. Index one here works just like the index parameter in our previous method. So that's going to be our starting point for getting our substring. The difference is this index two that we pass. So what this is saying is that we want to get the string with all the characters between index one and up to and not including index two. Or another way we can rephrase it is I want all the characters between index one and up to and including index two minus one. Why did they decide to do it that way? I have absolutely no idea. They just decided the second parameter means we're going to go up to but not include that index. So for example, if we do tsm.substring and we pass four and eight as our parameters. So the four is that index corresponds to the letter capital S. Eight, as we did in our previous example, goes up to capital M. So by doing the substring from four to eight, I'm actually getting the substring solo. So that is what this method would return. We have a couple more methods left. So just hang on there and we'll, we'll get through it. The next one is actually a pretty easy one. It's called two lowercase. All this does is just returns the exact same string as we had before. The only difference is every single letter is lowercase. So if we had any capital letters, they're now lowercase letters. So just to give an example, if we had TSM.2 lowercase, we would still return team solo mid. The difference now is, though, is that the letter T, S, and M were originally capitalized, but now they're lowercase. The next method is also pretty simple. It's called two uppercase. And you can take a wild guess that it works just as the opposite as two lowercase. So we're going to get the exact same string except every single letter is now uppercase instead of lowercase. So if we do our example tsm.2 uppercase, it returns team solo mid, but every single character in here is a capital letter. The next method is actually a Boolean method, which is called starts with. So what this does is we're given some string and what we're going to do is just check to see if our original string starts with str. So if it, if our whatever string we pass has the same initial characters as our string, then this is going to return true. And otherwise it's going to return false. So if we look at an example, if we do tsm dot starts with and then pass team, well, this is going to return true because our string is team solo mid. So sure enough, our string does start with the substring team. The last string method we'll take a look at is another Boolean method, which is called ends with. And this just simply returns true if our string ends with the string that we pass in str. So using our example from before, if I do tsm dot ends with team, this is going to return false because our string doesn't end with team. Now, if I did tsm dot ends with and pass mid, 
that would return true because our string does end with mid. 